ask, what on earth are these things? Now, this is an Osage orange, and it comes from the Osage orange trees, which grow abundantly here. In fact, the big, huge tree in my yard is an ancient one, probably from the early 1800s. Can you eat it? No. Who eats it? Well, I think the deer eat it, the squirrels eat it, and probably the groundhogs eat it. I always knew that the cows used to stay away from it when we had cows here. So what can you do with it? Well, when we were kids, we played bowling. I guess it would be a little bit like bocce. Um, but you can also use them as, decor uh, as decoration during uh, the holiday time. My godmother used to um, dry them and they actually have a very pretty cross section when they're cut open. I'm not gonna cut it open now because they're kind of gooey inside. You can see them sprinkled all about here. Osage orange. This row of trees all up, many of them are Osage oranges. Um, back when this was a farm a long time ago, um, the uh, that was what was called the bridle path, and that is where my great-grandfather and his predecessors would ride their horses. It would be uh, shady, and that's uh, where they would ride up to the house um, because it borders two fields, and the barn was on the other side way over there. So they'd go get the horses, and they could ride up that bridle path. Um, and it was it, the Osage orange trees were used as um, fences. I'll show you why. This row of trees against the yard are Osage oranges. And as you can see how the branching habit, the way this tree grows, it would kind of grow and intertwine the trunks. Um, this used to be a whole row of Osage oranges. And you can see that they would, uh, it would be hard to get a cow through there. And that's why they uh, put them up. It was to keep cattle and things out of the fields. And in this case, out of the yard. And you can see Osage oranges scattered about everywhere here. Here's what they look like on the inside. Here's one that somebody has started to eat. Oh, yuck, I just stepped in one that somebody probably got run over. But you can kind of see the cross section in here and how if you dried that in a circle, it would be kind of pretty. So somebody's been eating this. I would say probably squirrels, maybe the groundhog, maybe the deer. And this magnificent tree is an ancient Osage orange. Osage oranges were introduced to this area. They were brought back uh, from the Plains States by Lewis and Clark. And um, this house does date to before that time. And there were people, my, my godparents in this area, uh, were friends with Jefferson. So it's quite possible, we don't know for sure. But I do know my mother was born in 1912 and I have a picture of her on the front porch of the house. Um, with her parents in about 1914, and this tree was as big then as it is now.